Back in the 1980s, when there was these horrible droughts in sub-Saharan Africa, a lot of water holes were drying up and thousands of elephants died because of the drought. So they did some of the very first studies, taphonomic studies. Now, taphonomy is the study of what happens to a animal between the time it dies and the time that it becomes a permanent part of the fossil record. Here was the problem though, you had whole elephants that succumbed and died at the edges of these water holes, and within five years, there was no remains of them left. Yeah, why would there be? Right, I mean, the bones decay away, scavengers. Of course. Yeah, there was nothing left, yet, because there were salt deposits, and they, they, they called it the big bone lick, because they believed that these mastodons were coming there. Well, animals, even in modern times, would go there to lick these salt deposits. Yeah. But there were apparently like several dozen remains of these huge mastodons. It was like a elephant graveyard almost. The dating of it though suggests that it was a mass kill, that they died in mass. You know, you've got dozens of mammoths entombed in this clay kind of matrix. I started asking questions. Well, what kind of dating has been done on the enclosing matrix? 